going on, Sean? You ready for some Ryan Mac? I mean, I mean, Rainmaker. Close enough. <laughs> we were just making a joke that this looks like it almost says Ryan Mac. It really just says Mac. Yeah, but close enough. No one that watches this knows who Ryan is. But I do. You saw him in the two seam review. Damn right. Yep. Um, and a few other. He did another one with us too. Probably. I did I, the we, one. We did a couple. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, this is um, courtesy of my buddy Angel. He sent this with a box of other half stuff, um, and it's four point eight percent. So we're like, yeah. Um, so this is like I said, Rainmaker Hazy Pale Ale, Torch and Crown Brewing. This one says four point five. Hmm? Can't say four point eight. Oh, What's yeah. the description? Uh, Rainmaker is a crusher of a pale ale, light-bodied and loaded with citra and Nelson. I'm down with that. It's full of citrus flavor and aroma as well, remaining incredibly easy drinking. So, I'm wondering how how full the, uh, Nelson's going to come through because that is definitely not a like super citrusy hop. Yeah. This is uh, about, it's canned on 213, so it's legit one month old today, and it smells bonkers. And they're, yeah, and they're out of New York City. New York City. I rolled the can too, so we should be good. Um, I've never had anything by these guys, but uh, if if Angel sent it, it's usually a good sign that it's got to be good. And at four point eight percent, yeah. If it's really really good, I'd be very very mad that I can't get it. <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Well, I can already smell it, and it, <laughs> I can smell Nelson for sure. Mostly his feet. Yeah, let's get a look at this, huh? It is very very light. Yeah. Like straw gold almost. Straw gold and yellow. It actually reminds me of Tucson for some reason. because Probably because it was, it was fresh in my mind and it's yeah. a lower ABV version of an IPA. It's, to me, it looks like a piss sample. Yeah. A cleaner piss sample. Well, even my piss samples get a little bubbly too. I get a little head on it. How often do you do piss samples? All the time. At work? No, I, I, I have issues with kidney stones. Oh, I was like, are you getting drug tested? What did I miss no. here? Got it. Wow, well, that's a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a nose. Uh, yeah, no head. Okay, yeah, yeah, the head is good. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Oof, that smells. Do you know? You know what this smells like? I I can't put my my finger on it, but say it. It smells like that fucking beer by Treehouse I like so much. The fucking um, right I, in perpetuity. It smells like a lighter, a, a lighter, a little more earthier in perp in perp. Minus like the bubblegum yeast, but what I get? Yeah. I get sprang. Oh, I get that. I see what you're saying. Right? That's the earthiness. That's the earthiness. Yeah, and the Nelson kind of comes through too because yeah. Sprang uses Nelson, right? It, very possible. Is it Big Sprang? One of them. Either way, this, yeah. this smells... It smells really good though. But no, you got it. It's, it has in perp, Sprang, things going. And this is... Eh. This smells ridiculous. Yeah, it smells really good. And and I I love that the Citra is way up in there, but so is the Nelson. And, and the Nelson's given that, that nice grapey kind of uh, sweetness to it. Yeah, and it's got that, like, it's got almost... Sugary sweet, sh- sugary tropical fruits too. Like that, I'm sure that's coming yeah. from from the citra, but I, I, I am getting a yeasty punch in there too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like you know, really getting the. Uh, wow, it's really good. Four point eight. We haven't taken a sip yet. God damn. Four point eight percent. Let's do this. Huh? Cheers. Cheers, sir. A bit spicy. A bit spicy bit in there. Yeah. That's an easy drinking beer, though. It's crusher. And not as sweet as I expected. No, not, not, it, like what we got on the nose, I was expecting a little bit more, but yeah. 4.8%, I guess. No, no, yeah, this this tastes like a 4.8% yeah. beer. And it, 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 that spicy hits a little bit weird, though. It gives a little bit of tingle in yeah. the tongue. Yeah, it's got but, this, like, you get, like, like, the tropical fruits from, like, Citra and whatnot, and Nelson come through, and then it kind of gives you that nice, yeah, peppery bitterness kind of yeah. hits backwards. It hits at the back of your palate, but. This is a, it drinks like a 4.8% beer, but it's really freaking delicious. Yeah. And it, and it does, like I'm getting a, a little bit of tropical fruit. Um, the Nelson isn't quite as powerful on the, on the palate as it is on the nose, mm. but I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the, of the tropical punch and I'm getting s- some, some yeastiness to it and I'm getting that peppery finish yeah. a little bit. It's really, really quite nice. Yeah. I, I wish I could get a case of this for the summer. Like, oh, it's be perfect. Compared this to some other like session IPAs that we've had, this is this is really, really well done. Lawn more beer, right? Exactly. On um, this is sort of like what Morph always wanted me. To, you know? 
Well, Night Shift doesn't walk it, watch it. <laughs> I, I, I like plenty of morphs. No, I, I didn't like all of them, you know? Yeah. I didn't do. Yeah, but morph also varied from like the 4% to up to all the way up. They got up close to 6 sometimes, I think. Right, right? but I think this is always what they're kind of aiming for, something yeah, like this. Yeah. This, is, this is like a perfect representation of a low ABV IPA that still has flavor. Yeah. The nose is outstanding. Outstanding. And it leaves this nice, refreshing, like, resiny bitterness vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it, it has just a little bit of that. Yeah. I mean, really, this is what a, a pale ale IPA type of thing should be. Yeah. A nice little bitterness, and it's quite, it's really, really nice. It drinks so easy. Yeah, it's delicious. If you guys can get your hands on this, like, I don't I don't know if they're, I don't know how much it costs. I don't know if they're distroed, um, brewed and canned by Torch and Crown Brewing themselves. Yeah, I don't know if it's distroed. I don't know if this is from a um, st- uh, store or whatnot. Did it say when they opened or anything on there? Not that it really. I only looked yeah. up the beer. I don't look up anything about. Yeah, that. which is fine because now we can let our viewers do the work for us. <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had uh, established twenty eighteen. That's pretty new. Yeah, pretty new. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had anything from um, Torch and Crown Brewing out of New York City. If you've had Rainmaker and what you think of it, uh, we clearly love it. So if 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 you guys see this, it's definitely worth worth picking up, uh, especially if, if if you're in the market for something a little bit lower ABV. You don't want to get too crazy. Um, or you can drink like 12 of them and get pretty crazy. That would be a great thing to do too. Yes. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bells. Ding, ding, ding. So you get notified when we post new videos. And uh, NerdSense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is NerdSense. Sense. Get the fucking camera, bitch. I'm like, okay, I need another 25 minutes to set up again. <laughs> yes. <laughs>